Thank you, Dr. Rachna, for inviting me to speak at Ma Tujhe Salam event on this worldwide platform of Global Educators Fraternity. Good evening, good day, good morning to all mothers across the globe. I feel very privileged to share my thoughts with all of you today. I hope all of you agree when I say we educators have thousands of children along with our own biological ones. The instinct and gift of motherhood is very, very natural to us. We are in this profession, we have become teachers, we have become educators because we all love children. Our heart is filled with compassion and love for our kids. Nature has been very partial in that sense to women by bestowing the incredible gift of childbearing. It's a great feeling to nurture a baby in the womb for nine months. Creating life in one's own womb is nothing less than a godly feeling. Perhaps that's why it is said, God couldn't be everywhere. That's why he created mothers. What a powerful statement and what an honor to a mother. A mother is always held in high esteem in any culture, any religion, or in any part of the world. Be it Yashoda and Krishna, Mary and Jesus, or Parvati and Ganesha, take any example. Mother is a godly figure, always, always worthy of worship. A mother's love is unconditional for her children, even though sometimes children fail to reciprocate or children may not reciprocate the same kind of feelings or same kind of love. That is why the great philosopher of ancient India, Sri Adi Shankaracharya has put it very beautifully. Kuputro jayate kochidapi kumata na bhavati, which means there can be unworthy sons, unworthy children, bad children, but there can never be a bad mother. What a meaningful philosophy he has put in just one sentence. We may call mother by different names, like, you know, we call her ma, mama, mom, amma, ami, mommy, or ba, mata, or awa, in any culture. But always she will respond with love and love alone because her heart is always filled with love for her children. Now I would like to wish happiest Mother Day to my most gorgeous, dynamic, kind and loving mom, Mrs. Gita Rao. She is the most beautiful lady in my life. She is so beautiful when I say it is really, really beautiful. I'll be showing her picture to you soon. Her flawless complexion, youthful look, evergreen smile and her boldness to face any challenges thrown at her with poise and dignity make her a very, very special person. It is she who taught me to live life queen size. Yes, to accept challenges, to convert every obstacle into new opportunity and never to give up. I love you, Mama. You continue to stay with me in spirit all the time, 24 by 7, all 365 days. Every breath of uh, mine resonates your name and resonates your love. Mama, love you. I have inculcated my mom's very simple philosophy to my son. If you can help someone, help. Otherwise, don't at least harm. This is a very simple philosophy I'm trying to live with. And I have inculcated this into my son, Tapan, who is my priceless position and my pride. Tapan is a gentle but firm and caring and loving and honest and compassionate. Uh, ethical and hardworking man. Love you, Tapan. You are a great son and a greater human being. Stay blessed and happy always. Now I would like to, uh, you know, share a small PPT with all of you. Just, uh, you know, one minute.
this is the beautiful and the most beautiful backdrop uh, created by Rachna for this event. So just look at it, how much trouble she has taken. Thank you, Rachna, once again. And a happy Mother's Day to all of you, all the educators and all those who are watching. And this is a welcome slide that was put, but uh, thank you, Alka Ji, for uh, you know, calling me out, uh, calling out my name also, but I was unfortunately traveling and uh, on the road and the signals were very bad and I couldn't reach out. So, and I'm trying to make up. Thank you, Rachna. Thank you, Alka. Now, you all will agree, this is my gorgeous, gorgeous mom, Mrs. Gita Rao. See her smile. She was such a kind, she is, of course, she is continuously staying in my, with me in my spirit, I said. And this is my son, Tapan. I call him my pride and I call him my priceless possession. What all I want, he's very loving, very gentle and very caring. So a very happy Mother's Day to all of you. Thank you and God bless. Thank you, GEF and God bless.